In the midst of the bustling, cacophonous cityscape of Mumbai, where the symphony of honking horns and vibrant street life echoes through the crowded lanes, I chanced upon J. Krishnamurti's Freedom from the Known, a work of philosophical introspection that beckons the reader to cut across the noise of urban existence and embrace the uncharted realms of self-discovery. Hello everyone, this is Amreen from Reader Day Club and Bienvenue dans une autre vidéo where I am finally sitting and talking, well, technically I'm standing and talking about not only Krishnamurti's Freedom from the Known, which many of you have asked me to review, but also another outstanding piece of non-fiction, Missing Out in Praise of the Unlived Life by Adam Phillips. So it's a remix of a uh, philosophy and psychology. Timestamps are in place and now let's start with Krishnamurti's Freedom from the Known. Krishnamurti with this eloquent prose of his invites us to take a plunge straight into something that transcends the, it transcends the boundaries of conventional thought. And as I was reading Freedom from the Known, which I think is a contemplative masterpiece, I couldn't help but marvel at the resonance that it held with the very essence of the kind of storytelling that I love. And I don't know why, but for some reason, it reminded me of how Anton Chekhov has written about the human condition in his plays. So even Krishnamurti's work discusses the existential uncertainties and complexities of our shared existence. What is so captivating about his philosophy is his ability to peel away the layers of societal conditioning so we can reach out to the raw pulsating core of human consciousness. It is a psychological odyssey, a plunge into the depths of our desires, our fears and, and that complicated relationship between the conscious and the subconscious. If you're a reader who enjoys reading about the exploration of the human psyche, then you will find in Krishnamurti's words a companion, um, a sort of a fellow wanderer in the maze of the mind. And but I would also like to say that his philosophy has nothing to do with simplicity for the profound intellectual mind. And his philosophical and psychological insights into the nature of freedom, they're not mere abstractions. Rather, they resonate with your struggles, they resonate with your beliefs, your thought process, your worries, your reality, and even your joy, as a matter of fact. Krishnamurti's discourse is like a... How do I describe this? Think of his words like a lantern in the dimly lit corridors of the mind. His narrative is simultaneously personal and universal. And as a reader, you're not just a passive observer, but an active participant, confronting your own illusions and, and questioning the very fabric of your beliefs. You get to those uncomfortable truths that lie beneath the surface of consciousness. In Freedom from the Known, you will find not only a philosophical compass, but like I said, a companion in the perpetual exploration of what it means to be human. In this book, he talks about things like the ending of fear, pursuit of pleasure, consciousness, learning about ourselves, living with ourselves as we are, relationship, desire, ideals, and time, sorrow, the burdens of yesterday, the quiet mind. So there are, I think, two, three chapters in this book that I really liked. As for this video, I am surely going to share some short quotes. Space and silence are necessary because it is only when the mind is alone, uninfluenced, untrained, not held by infinite varieties of experience, that it can come upon something totally new. Thought is so cunning, so clever, that it distorts everything for its own convenience. If something is you, what can you do? You cannot rebel against it or run away from it or even accept it. It is there. So all action that is the outcome of reaction to like and dislike has come to an end. There is no achieving, no ladder to climb. There is only the first step. And the first step is the everlasting step. In the labyrinth of life's complexities, British psychotherapist and author of Missing Out in Praise of the Unlived Life, Adam Phillips invites you to start up a profound conversation with the uncharted territories of your own existence. As I got more and more familiar with this work of his, 
something in my brain found a harmonious resonance with his narrative. A narrative that, just like Krishnamurti's, travels beyond the conventional boundaries of psychology and philosophy. And and you know, you have to think of it this way, the human psyche, a can of worms, which we don't want to open. So Adam Phillips does that for you. And in a manner that that will help you make sense of the mess, sort of like helping you sort through all that chaos. This book talks about the paradoxical nature of desire and how it's attached to our sense of self. And he's put all this stuff in there so that we can scrutinize not only what we what we've lived, but also the slippery slopes of the unlived life. Adam Phillips compels you to confront those shadows that are often left behind most choices we make. So those narratives are left untold. And there you have it, the complexity of the human condition. We are always haunted by the myth of our potential, of what we might have it in ourselves to be or do. So when we are not thinking, we are grieving or regretting or resenting our failure to be ourselves as we imagine we could be. We share our lives with the people we have failed to be. Phillips' work does more than just analyze. It clears some space in your, in your head to make way for introspection. The book in many ways reduces the inherent tension between what is and what might have been. So you understand how to confront those vulnerabilities that hide underneath lived experiences. So you can let them in instead of running away from them. And if you find solace and inspiration in this whole self-help, self-discovery genre, then Missing Out is the perfect book for you. Anyway, just like the previous video, I'm going to end this one too on a French note. J'espère que vous avez apprécié regarder cette vidéo et j'espère que vous vous abonnerez à notre chaîne si ce n'est pas déjà fait. Je reviendrai très, très bientôt avec d'autres recommandations de livres. Au revoir.